Hey there! Are you planning to take the Master Plumber Licensure exam? You are at the right channel! Welcome to our audio review where we will be asking you sample exam questions to help you prepare. In this session, we will be having a refresher on plumbing arithmetic. Are you ready to identify the concepts and terminologies necessary for the subject? It will be composed of algebra, trigonometry, physics and financial arithmetic. This part of the exam will be composed of 100 items and you only have 2 hours to answer. In order to help you prepare, how about we speed up our time? Are you ready? Let us start. Question 1. The place where the buyers and sellers come. A. Bid bulletin. B. Bid meeting. C. Market. D. Negotiation. The answer? It's C. Market. Market. The place where the buyers and sellers come. Market. Question 2. It is the decrease in the value of a physical property due to the passage of time. A. Draw down. B. Depletion. C. Deflation. D. Depreciation. The answer? It's D. Depreciation. Depreciation. It is the decrease in the value of a physical property due to the passage of time. Depreciation. Question 3. The total income equal to the operating cost. A. Balance. B. Equal ratio. C. Break even. D. Check and balance. The answer? It's C. Break even. Break even. The total income equal to the operating cost. Break even. Question 4. A polygon with 10 sides. A. Hectagon. B. Heptagon. C. Decagon. D. Undecagon. The answer? It's C. Decagon. Decagon. A polygon with 10 sides. Decagon. Question 5. What is the face of a hexagonal prism? A. Square. B. Diamond. C. Octagon. D. Circle. The answer? It's A. Square. Square. The face of a hexagonal prism is square. Question 6. How many edges are there in an octahedron? A. 12. B. 8. C. 10. D. 16. The answer? It's A. 12. Remember that octahedron has 12 edges and 8 plane faces. Question 7. 1 gallon is equals to how many pounds? A. 1,000 pounds. B. 8.35 pounds. C. 2.54 pounds. D. 9.81 pounds. The answer? It's B. 8.35 pounds. 8.35 pounds. One gallon is equivalent to 8.35 pounds. Question 8. The altitudes of the sides of the triangle intersects at the point known as what? A. Radii. B. Center. C. Circumcenter. D. Orthocenter. The answer? It's D. Orthocenter. Orthocenter. The altitudes of the sides of the triangle intersects at the point known as orthocenter. Question 9. These are denoted by the letter I. A. Variable. B. Imaginary number. C. Complex numbers. D. Real numbers. The answer? It's B. Imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers. These are denoted by the letter I, imaginary numbers. Question 10. These are expression of both a real number and an imaginary number. A. Complex numbers. B. Exponents. C. Radicals. D. Fractions. The answer? It's A. Complex numbers. Complex numbers. These are expression of both a real number and an imaginary number. Complex numbers. Question 11. These are known as counting numbers. A. Irrational numbers. B. Rational numbers. C. Natural numbers. D. Integers. The answer? It's C. Natural numbers. Natural numbers. These are known as counting numbers. 
natural numbers. Question 12. These cannot be expressed as quotient of two integers. Add imaginary numbers. B. Complex numbers. C. Rational numbers. D. Irrational numbers. The answer? It's D. Irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. These cannot be expressed as quotient of two integers. Irrational numbers. Question 13. These are algebraic equations in which variable quantities are in the first power and whose graph is a straight line. A. Fraction. B. Linear equations. C. Ordered pair. D. Coordinate system. The answer? It's B. Linear equations. Linear equations. These are algebraic equations in which variable quantities are in the first power and whose graph is a straight line. Linear equations. Question 14. It is the power to which a number is raised as indicated by a small superior figure. A. Radical. B. Exponent. C. Fraction. D. Variable. The answer? It's B. Exponent. Exponent. It is the power to which a number is raised as indicated by a small superior figure. Exponent. Question 15. It is an expression that uses a root, such as a square root and cube root. A. Radical. B. Exponent. C. Fraction. D. Variable. The answer? It's A. Radical. Radical. It is an expression that uses a root, such as a square root and cube root. Radical. Question 16. A sequence of numbers in which any two adjacent terms has a common ratio, denoted as R. A. A geometric progression. B. Harmonic progression. C. Arithmetic progression. D. Algebraic progression. The answer? It's a geometric progression. Geometric progression. A sequence of numbers in which any two adjacent terms has a common ratio, denoted as R. Geometric progression. Question 17. A collection of numbers arranged in any orderly manner which has a specific formula to calculate the nth term. A. Progression. B. Mean. C. Median. D. Mode. The answer? It's A. Progression. Progression. A collection of numbers arranged in any orderly manner which has a specific formula to calculate the nth term. Progression. Question 18. It is the process of finding the factors or finding what to multiply together to get an expression. A. Radical. B. Progression. C. Factoring. D. Square root. The answer? It's C. Factoring. Factoring. It is the process of finding the factors or finding what to multiply together to get an expression. Factoring. Question 19. A sequence of numbers in which the reciprocals of the elements are in arithmetic progression. A. Arithmetic progression. B. A geometric progression. C. The factorial progression. D. Harmonic progression. The answer? It's D. Harmonic progression. Harmonic progression. A sequence of numbers in which the reciprocals of the elements are in arithmetic progression. Harmonic progression. Question 20. It is a branch of mathematics that deals with the relationships involving lengths and angles of triangles. A. Algebra. B. Geometry. C. A trigonometry. D. Calculus. The answer? It's C. Trigonometry. Trigonometry. It is a branch of mathematics that deals with the relationships involving lengths and angles of triangles. Trigonometry. Question 21. A sequence of numbers in which the difference between any two adjacent numbers is constant. A. Arithmetic progression. B. A geometric progression. C. Harmonic progression. D. Factorial progression. The answer? It's A. Arithmetic. Arithmetic progression. A sequence of numbers in which the difference between any two adjacent numbers is constant. Arithmetic progression. Question 22. It is a triangle with three angles less than 90 degrees. A. Acute triangle. 
B. Obtuse triangle. C. Right triangle. D. Angular triangle. The answer? It's a acute angle. Acute angle. It is a triangle with three angles less than 90 degrees. Acute angle. Question 23. It is the space between two rays that extend from a common point called the vertex. A. Angle. B. Triangle. C. Degree. D. Reciprocal. The answer? It's A. Angle. Angle. It is the space between two rays that extend from a common point called the vertex. Angle. Question 24. It is a triangle with one angle more than 90 degrees and two other angles less than 90 degrees. A. Acute angles. B. Obtuse angles. C. Cosine angles. D. Sine angles. The answer? It's B. Obtuse angles. Obtuse angle. It is a triangle with one angle more than 90 degrees and two other angles less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angle. Question 25. It is the line drawn from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Its intersection point is called a centroid. A. Mean. B. Median. C. Altitude. D. Angle bisector. The answer? It's B. Median. Median. It is the line drawn from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Its intersection point is called a centroid. Median. How about a recap? Let's identify the place where the buyers and sellers come. Market. It is the decrease in the value of a physical property due to the passage of time. Depreciation. The total income equal to the operating cost. Break even. A polygon with 10 sides. Decagon. What is the face of a hexagonal prism? Square. How many edges are there in an octahedron? 12. One gallon is equal to what? 8.35 pounds. The altitudes of the sides of the triangle intersects at the point known as what? Orthocenter. These are denoted by the letter I. Imaginary numbers. These are expression of both a real number and an imaginary number. Complex numbers. These are known as counting numbers. Natural numbers. These cannot be expressed as quotient of two integers. Irrational numbers. These are algebraic equations in which variable quantities are in the first power and whose graph is a straight line. Linear equations. It is the power to which a number is raised as indicated by a small superior figure. Exponent. It is an expression that uses a root, such as a square root and cube root. Radical. A sequence of numbers in which any two adjacent terms has a common ratio, denoted as R. Geometric progression. A collection of numbers arranged in any orderly manner which has a specific formula to calculate the nth term. Progression. It is the process of finding the factors or finding what to multiply together to get an expression. Factoring. A sequence of numbers in which the reciprocals of the elements are in arithmetic progression. Harmonic progression. It is a branch of mathematics that deals with the relationships involving lengths and angles of triangles. Trigonometry. A sequence of numbers in which the difference between any two adjacent numbers is constant. Arithmetic progression. It is a triangle with three angles less than 90 degrees. Acute triangle. It is the space between two rays that extend from a common point called the vertex. Angle. It is a triangle with one angle more than 90 degrees and two other angles less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angles. It is the line drawn from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Its intersection point is called a centroid. Median. Break time. How was your score? Have you passed? Feel free to re-watch the video. If you have any questions and concerns, feel free to write them at the comments section below. Part 2 will be in the comments section, so make sure you stay tuned.
Don't forget to hit like, click subscribe and ring that notification bell to be updated. Good luck!